Hello everybody and welcome back to Fire Emblem. In the last episode we fought some Risen and we found a Pegasus. In this episode we will go to the Long Fort. In Chapter 3 Warrior Realm. I'm freebing. Wow, suddenly it's cold as well. Look at that wind. <laughs> Oh. Right. Ah. I like how Frederick always has to use the word very. Like, <sighs> do you, you're pushing your title too much. My lord. What? Right. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. So now they're gonna tell me, or teach us, about selecting units. Here we can select units because we can't take all of them. And we'll get more later on, so we kinda have to choose, and I'm gonna come and ditch fake right now. There's also a support conversation between Virion and Sully, which I didn't feature in the last episode. So we will do that right now. Greetings. You're floating so like a butterfly. You're stinging so like the bee. Wow. What in the... <sighs> Such a, a charming young fella. Um. No. Stab stabulous. Hmm? Stabulous. <laughs> He's making up words, guys. Maybe not. No, no. Very well. Come on, man. <laughs> you can do this, Virion. So that was a support conversation. See, and I did this. I can also check the inventories of the mofos, but they're all I actually. You don't need a shock stick. There we go. And Fito. There. In the name of the house, Elise, I seek audience with the Khans. Oh. Wait. I guess they don't really want us here. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> right. What? <laughs> oh, they think we're like. False? Like we're fake? Um. Uh oh. Sumia. Better hold on tight, Captain. Could get bumpy. Uh, right. <laughs> You'll be fine. Samia! <sighs> right! <sighs> you see, who doesn't ship Listen. this ship is just not. <laughs> it's not feeling it, you know? Good. Because I ship this. <gasps> Sumia X Chrome, all the way. Chrome! Okay, but now it's time for, to get serious. So now we have Sumia, which is a Pegasus rider. And those are amazing, they have like the best reach, they can go everywhere. Beautiful. So, what are we more likely? Oh, yeah, but one thing, they can go very far and stuff, but they are weak against archers. And we have some archers. So, what I, what I like to do is pair her with Chrome, of course. So that she's safe against the arrows. And I will only switch to her when I really have to go the distance. Which we don't really have to right now. But this leaves Yolota without a partner. But Fake isn't here, so I will get Stall to help me. Actually, I'm gonna help Stall. Because he needs the levels. And then, there we go. And then you can just stay here for a while, I guess. Um, Fred. Fred 
Yeah, Frederick can take a punch. I will put Frederick there. Mm, and we will put you guys here. And here. And Chrome right here. There we go. Come on. Come on. That's good. Sometimes it's better that we don't kill them, because then we have extra space where we're safe, so we don't get another attack at us. Fredek should be able to take all of this, like one damage is nothing against him. Like, the very f first few levels he's just like a sponge. He will uh, just absorb all of the enemies. No damage? Yeah, you, you really have to save him from that. Two damage. And we should probably get Muriel over there so she can uh, kill that last person. Okay, beautiful. Everything is going according to my plan. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now it, this is actually the part where we. Uh, Cats pair up, but because this is my first time, this is hard mode. We can do this like from the very beginning, which I prefer over everything else. And actually, Muriel can take down this guy. No worries. There we go. And she gets a level up. And then still isn't doing it great, but we will have to figure something out for that. So what we will do is we go stand here, and we can talk to this guy, which I didn't notice until now. Hmm? Why do I have the feeling like I'm being watched? Don't you see me? It's because there's a guy right there. <clears throat> huh? Guess from the notice him. What? It's Kellum. He's from the Shepherds, our team, but you know. <laughs> People just sometimes don't really? see him. If you say so. I mean, it's not like he's a big, bulky guy or anything. And we can still attack, which is beautiful. So we can take down this guy. And then, um... Actually, we can do this. felt like going archer for a sec. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Crit. Totally worth it. 10 out of 10. Would archer again. I can kill this guy off. That seems like the best course of action. Callum is pretty legit. He's supposed to be defensive, so he's a good one. Actually, let me go help out here. Actually, I don't, I don't need the experience. Frederick can take care of it. What seems better is if we do this, we can see that the enemy can not attack on this space. So we can heal, we will probably get attacked by the archer, but I think we can, like, get one hit, at least. And this uh, gave Fliss a level, which is great. Let's see. Oh, Muriel. Which is okay, because we can use a fire, as long as we don't get another archer on our ass. Okay, good. Good. I don't want to risk it. I'm not that... I don't have that much guts. I'll get Firion on this case. He's great. Good job. Such a great fella. 
We got the door key. Now we can use the fortress doors. So that's also a big part of this game. Keys. Did I actually heal? Ah, yeah, I added healing. We will heal. Meryl. Keys open doors as well as chests with loot in them later on. So that's a big part of this whole game. And we can have Stall take care of this fella. Stay calm. Good job. As always, and then we can have Chrome take care of this guy. The archer. We didn't kill him though. Kill him can't move that much. Um Probably keep Muriel safe, and I will pair her up with Callum for now. Guess, yeah. Let's hope Stalk can survive an arrow and a spare. I think he can. Eleven should be enough. Plus a level up, which will yield him more HP, magic, skill, and defense. Beautiful. Oh! Oh wow! Well, that worked out. That's just seven. And no a problem. Yeah, man. I've been here for like... I don't know. Check, check how long every episode takes, and then we know how long I've been in the Shepherds. Um... Or how much every episode took. Um... I don't know. I can really, I can really just take care of anyone. Doesn't really matter. Um, there we go. Good job. A good job. That's not enough. What if I get up close? Hmm. Let's hope for an assist. No assist. Oh, but I can do this. Let's hope we can kill. Nice. So, and that takes care of everyone on this field. Um. There's an item over there, so we should probably go that way. Who can still move? You guys. There you go, switch. Oh, actually... Let's move out. And... Um, who has the key? I okay, Muriel. It it has like no other use. Now I'm opening the door, so I have to wait, and then we get this item. Or oh, oh, it's a little like small talk, which improves the relationship. Then we will all get her around, so maybe I can open the door. There we go. And now let's get some people out, so... Now we can engage battle. Actually, I can do it right now, and I think he's weak against magic anyway. So this works out fine. Let's hit him with a thunder. And another one. Yes. And level seven. I just level up too fast, man. I'm not even trying. I'm not even trying. Uh, we're safe there, so we should probably like wait there. On a safe spot. There we go. 
the whole theme on the stairs. And now we can attack. There we go. This guy has a hammer. Oh wow! I am defeated. That was bad. I didn't really take that into account. Wow. Let's hope Lissa survives, but no. That's too bad. That was a a bolt move. I shouldn't shouldn't just rush in, you know. But hey, this was just a demonstration of what happens when someone dies on casual mode, I guess. Nothing happens, they will just rejoin us, but we'll have to f make this fight without Frederick and Lisa for now. So yeah, yeah, that happened. But no problem. I'm gonna, gonna try and take care of who. Yeah, the hammer guy is back. And we have to take revenge for our fallen mate. For our fellow shepherd. I'm not gonna like get really upset because somebody died, but you know, it's quite early on and I guess it was just my mistake. But you know, mistakes happen and normally people would restart in normal mode because characters don't come back but I'm fine this is all okay this is why I picked this mode as well I mean like I just wanna have a good time and not like worry about restarting and being like super precise with everything I would also take like a longer time on the video Wow, the frame rates. Look out. Time to tip the scale. What happened? I don't know. The frame rate just dropped. Right. And became peanuts for a second. It's fine now, I guess. And look at the level up, like wow. Now we have to make sure we don't like lose. I also realize we don't have our healer anymore. Um, which kinda makes everything a little bit more awkward. I think she has a javelin, yeah, so she will attack. Maybe I should switch a little uh, over to stall again. Okay, let's see what happens. We get a javelin attack. Which is not gonna do much. I actually like javelins because they make melee characters have like more reach. And another level up. I also feel like Fire Emblem is one of those games where it becomes uh, a bit easier midway because now you're like starting up and you don't have as much like skills and abilities and options than what you would have later on. So right now what we have to think okay, as a I think we will just like move back so we can lure them away from the boss. Stall is fine I guess. Chrom isn't doing all that that good, so you'll move him a little bit more to the back. Okay, let's hope this works. I'll take notes from me. And well, Callum will take this guy on. He will not kill him because he can only attack once. But that's fine. And then Sumia will take a hit. 
Let's hope the archer doesn't pick Sumia because she will probably die. Ready? Okay. Nice. No problem. Let's finish this up. I'm right here. Yeah, set the guy down. And this will take care of this guy. And this guy is also dead. Nice. Now it's only the boss that's left. And with this, we can prepare for the boss. Oh, there's only guy. I see. There's this guy, which will just stand there. Because we're, like, too far away. Okay. And now I will think of a plan. How are we gonna... Clearly, if I use Furion, he will still get attacked. We can attack twice, and it does quite some damage. As long as we manage to kill her this you turn, this. we're probably safe. Gallum can attack from here. Oh, zero damage, wow. At least we got the assist from Muriel. And then Chrom is not, it's not gonna do a lot. Oh, Rapier gets bonus damage, let's do this. Beautiful. There we go. And negate damage. Beautiful. Ah, that's too bad, otherwise Sumia would have gotten the kill. I guess I guess Thor will be the guy. Oh or I will be the guy, whatever. I should probably like not rush too much, otherwise I'll I make more mistakes like Frederick. Yeah. I'm not really that guy that like checks every enemy. I should probably become that guy soon. Anyways, we made it. And Frederick is alive, look at that. And Lisa as well. Everything works out in the end. Except more for my frame rate. My frame rate went peanuts again. Like hardcore. Good. Oh, so now it's all fine. Good eight. Wow. Right. Ah, I see how it is. It's really like a warrior's right. place. Now oh, let's save, and I bet there is like an extra cutscene that happens. Or not. Okay. So, wireless features unlocked. The Art Realm game. Uh, gate. Game. Gate has been unlocked. And some bonus stuff. Um, yeah, I think it's. It will benefit us to. Do all of that. There's also support conversation, which we can do right now. Oh, there's a lot of support conversations. I don't know, I think I will make next episode just like... A break from the main story and we will, we will probably... Look at this one. This the story plus... Plus uh, the support conversations. Okay, yes. I think, I think I know what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna save and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.